Good morning and welcome back to our Ask the Agronomist Facebook Live. We are here um, standing in the plots where we will be tomorrow for yeah. the field day. Yep, it's exciting. A little high on the mosquitoes right now, I know. But, uh, but tomorrow's going to be a good day. It's going to be really nice and sunny. We've got it all cleaned up. It's looking nice. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We are looking forward to it. Things will start at 9 a.m. tomorrow, so if you're in the area, be sure to stop on by and yeah. you'll be hearing from all sorts of great people. Yep, we'll cover all the topics. Yes, we will. All right, well, today we're going to be talking about a hot topic recently, tar spot and corn. Yeah, into it, I think it's important to, to not scare everybody because this you know, this disease has a potential to be, um, you know, causing a lot of yield loss. Um, but but right now it's kind of in, a, in one area. Mm -hmm. uh, tar spot um, is a fungal pathogen uh, that, that was actually found in 2015 right. in Indiana and Illinois. And so it's kind of centrally located in that area. So mm -hmm. the uh, Indiana, Illinois, uh, Wisconsin areas is, is, is had a really tough go of it this year. Mm -hmm. Late in the season, uh, a lot of guys were it was showing up on the radar. Really doing some damage, you know. We've had uh, plants going down and things like that, so that's why we want to bring it up. But we just want to remind everybody that it's it's, it's kind of centrally located in that area right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll see as it moves forward in the ne in the coming years. But okay. So why this year? Is it um, especially bad this year? Seems yeah, to have so a lot more buzz than usual. It, it's a you know this is something we're going to just kind of go on a whim here. I mean mm -hmm. we don't know a lot about tar spot in general. The, the fungal pathogens themselves, there's there's a couple of them. There's actually two uh, that form a complex that came from Central America, actually, um, mm -hmm. and, and can form a complex and cause significant yield loss. Uh, right now, they don't think that we have that complex, but right. my guess is with what we've been seeing, once we get all these plant samples and stuff back this year and guys send those in after, after the fact, we're going to find out more information. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of things that go into this. The environmental conditions, obviously, we've had have been really... Uh, we've had things like they have in Central America, you know, long periods of, of leaf wetness, you know, mm -hmm. cooler, humid conditions, which have been good for grain fill and things like we keep talking about, mm -hmm. um, but but maybe maybe give more to this this particular disease. And then, mm -hmm. you know, there's also the thought that it might be in combination with other, you know, organisms. There's a lot mm -hmm. of diseases we have that may be caused, it, infection starts from another, you mm -hmm. know, insect or organism or whatever it may be. Maybe it's something like gray leaf spot or something. Right. So. Okay, so let's talk about impacts of this. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, like I said, the, the, the worst thing we've been seeing is, is really corn going down. I mean, mm -hmm. that's that's where we're at now. I know when this started out, it was really... So, so the symptoms of it, if we back up to the symptoms, uh, tar spot really looks like, you know, tar spot can be in trees, too. Mm -hmm. It's not the same fungal pathogen, but uh, tar spot's just like little specks on the leaves, black specks, and, and they'll be raised. Okay. Know, so you can feel them and, and that's one thing we want to make sure guys understand especially as we talk about this and hopefully not scare everybody um, but uh, you know when when a corn plant dies or soybean plant dies either one they have uh, what they call saprophytic fun fungi that, that come over and and you know devour the dead tissue right. um, and that can look similar so you know if, if you run your hand over tar spot you're not going to be able to brush it off mm -hmm. you know saprophytic fungi is, is going to be dusty okay. it, it'll brush off um, so make sure that that you distinguish that difference, um, but it can have a little halo around it as well, and then really just take over the leaf. It can be on dead tissue, it can be on green tissue as okay. well. Um, so it's just like I said, we don't know a lot about it, but it's mm -hmm. it's you know started out as a cosmetic thing, and now we're really really more worried about the yield impacts. Mm -hmm. You know, corn going down obviously that's that's a you know could be a hundred percent yield loss if the, mm -hmm. the corn's too far down that you can't pick it up or the ears are dropped. Right. You know, or other things like just uh, early senescence mm -hmm. and stopping some of that grain fill and, and decreasing test weight, you know, decreasing the amount of uh, nutrients going into that. Because that's what's happening when you lose that stock quality. You know, right. the, the plant is cannibalizing, you know, you're not getting stuff into the ear as it's mm -hmm. dying early. So. Okay. Um, and then let's talk about as far as timing of this fall. So what to do with those fields? How long do you let them go? Yeah, so uh, I, I would say, you know, you need to know now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this this is going to be one from what I've seen that, that you need to be on top of, you know, yesterday. And if you have fields that have an issue with tar spot, um, highly prioritize them. You know, one of the guys that uh, first found this this year, you know, we, we, I talk about precision ag a lot, you know, mm -hmm. and, and climate field view has satellite imagery. Um, this is a great opportunity to use this. Uh, you know, I talked to a lot of guys about using it for scouting. 
you know, right now, if you're unsure, you're like, hmm, maybe I do, maybe I don't. You can go back through those images and see, okay, that area is getting red, and I know that's not a soil issue. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should go out there now. If it was, you know, if it was red a month ago, right? Maybe I should go out there and see why it was red. Mm -hmm. You know, and and go out and see if there's some tar spot on the leaves and things like that. See how easy the stalks are are pushing over things like that. Mm -hmm. So. That's, I think the biggest thing right now is prioritizing your harvest and, and going back if you need to in some of those images. You know, mm -hmm. this is nice, nice thing about precision ag. You can kind of track that, you know. You, right. Before you just have to guess, but now we can look back on those images and say, oh man, this was starting to die, mm -hmm. die off back in early August. Right. So. Okay. And then um, just lastly, what type of planning um, or management practices yeah, can we look at there's, for there's, next year? There's not much, unfortunately, you know. <laughs> Sounding like a broken broken record, you know. There's lots of things in combination, likely with this disease, but there's mm -hmm. not much we, for certain, know about it. You know, mm -hmm. I know I've heard some people say fungicides may be may have uh, slowed, you know, the infection process and, and the progression of it, mm -hmm. uh, but that's not for sure yet. You know, we don't know any of those things for sure. So we'll find those out in the coming, you know, weeks and, and years ahead, likely, mm -hmm. you know, as to whether they make a difference on on you know slowing the progression of the disease, but. I'd say the top priority right now is, is scouting your fields to know timing of harvest, uh, and then if you do have it, um, submitting samples. You know because we right. learn by doing that, and Extension's yeah. really good about this. You know, um, they, you know, I know University of Wisconsin and Illinois are really trying to get samples from guys mm -hmm. uh, so that they can find out is it you know just the one fungal pathogen, or do we have both of them in complex that could be causing catastrophic mm -hmm. yield loss. So right. um, that's extremely important because then we can find out where it's distributed you know where it's going to be distributed maybe make some predictions and then you know on our side we're going to continue as we are this year finding out you know hybrid susceptibility and resistance and things like that you know mm -hmm. it's just such a new a new disease right all right so, well for sure um stay tuned for yeah. what's going to be coming up in the future yep yeah it's not always fun you know uh, being in, in in agriculture is one of those things you know mm -hmm. mother nature throws a lot of stuff at you yeah and uh, we do our best to you know to plan and prepare so. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. And thank you to our listeners for tuning in. Have a good day.